In his letter to the Corinthians, St. Paul writes, If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And now, these three remains, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. You know, when this whole thing between Russia and Ukraine started, um, me being at home in Romania, I felt a lot of like fear and panic. I felt it first for myself and then from everybody around me because of course, I mean, it's something tragic. It's, it creates a lot of fear and panic. And one day I was in my apartment and I, I, I could hear this weird, intense noise. It felt like it was like happening around the, the building. And I go in, in, in the living room and I look outside the window, like from the apartment and I see like this, this, I think it were two airplanes that were circulating super fast and circulating the building. And you know, those army, I don't know their name, like they're super fast and they were making all this noise. And if I went outside the balcony, I, I'm sure I could have seen like the pilots face to face because eye to eye, because that's how close he was. And I got so scared because I was like, okay, so what does it mean? This mean, it means that the were, you know, it, it's on our side now, it, it, it came over, and probably they just want to like, I don't know, blow this building up, and uh, this is something, it's not like you know how to prepare for this, nobody tells you how to feel, or what's the best way to, you know, to go about it, and I was like, okay, so this is the end, I'm, I'm gonna die, so what do I do now, I mean, what is the best way to make this transition, you know, how can I do it in a way that benefits my soul and my spirit, and I felt guided to, okay, pick up the book of Psalms, and I started reading. And of course, I was like shaking and so scared. And as I was reading the, the book, I felt as if an internal dialogue was taking place. And it was something like, okay, what is it that truly mattered in this lifetime? Love. Did you love? And it was as if veil after veil of, was being lifted from my eyes, and I could see, no. No, and I, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not happy, and I'm, I feel ashamed to recognize it, but it was as if my whole life I was circulating the earth, walking this with a match and thinking, oh, this match is pretty cool, this light is intense, that's my capacity to love and be kind and that, and then you are face to face with the, you're face to face with the sun, and you realize, oh, so, right, it's like, oh, I, I feel ashamed for thinking that I was in a really good place, and I was, I was loving, when in fact, look at this light, and... Uh, all this taking place within me I remember like finning, finishing a reading and I felt more calm and, and it was as if you know you know you have those books and movies where it said that the spirit comes and to walk you through your lifetime and show you where you went wrong and I felt like that I felt like the spirit of death came it's like okay let me say it's time for for you to go it's time to take that's how I internalize it thinking that okay this is gonna happen right now and we're gonna take you and I was like, but I did it wrong. I mean, I did it wrong. You know, like Ivan Illich on his deathbed. What if my whole life has been wrong? Like for me, it wasn't what if. I knew because I, I could see, hey, I did not love. And I could see all the people and all the places that I could have put love there. But I just, because of my ego and all my beliefs and my resistance. And my a lot of time, my, my incapacity to go beyond that, I couldn't do it. And I feel like, oh. So I did it wrong. So I can I cannot go like this. I cannot. It cannot happen like this. And this peace came over me, and I got up and it felt like I honestly felt like uh, you know death comes like okay, it means I time to go. And there's like oh no, actually I changed my mind. You can stay. And I felt like that. It was I just knew it's not gonna happen. Don't worry, you're okay. And it just left. And I felt this peace, and I was like okay, so what now? What, what now? You know that. Out of these three things, the greatest of this is love. And you know it's not about like making an impact and big crowds and all these things that the world tells you to chase after and do that. But no, it's the simplicity and the power of love. 
So how can you become an embodiment of love? How can you humble yourself before the divinity and say, hey, you take over from here. You know how Wayne Dyer used to say, you can be a hostage to your ego or a, a host to God. And I was like, how can how can I become the embodiment of love? And how can I be more loving? And I do, uh, it's so interesting because I realized this yesterday. It happened, like, I feel like it's almost a year since this experience. So not yet a year. And yesterday I was like, wow, so this actually had an impact because from that moment things started to change. And it wasn't that I was doing consciously. It felt like a seed was planting. My, how I internalized everything. I was like, oh, I want to do this. And it's like my spirit, my soul said, I'm ready, I want to do this, and everything within me said, okay, we're up for it as well, help us, right, and things started to change, and I feel like I can look at more things with more love, and I exercise this ability, like, for example, yesterday, somebody like, oh my god, this person, and to my eyes, like, mortal eyes, my physical eye was like, this person's horrible, what they are doing, it's so wrong, and it was like my ego and then something inside me I felt this peace like you need that but you know love is all that matters so what a great opportunity to love him what a great opportunity to you know exercise it and become the embodiment of love and I was like oh but I want to I don't want to do it but then of course that softens and it's like of course you surrender and you do it because because that's your nature that's who you are and I feel like it's so important to look at our lives and Find the places and the things and the people that maybe we don't have love towards and we don't have to start like with our own worst enemy. Hopefully we don't have that. But just maybe like look with the people you're living with, maybe it's your partner, your children, your parents, whatever, just and see how can I soften? How can I direct more love towards them? How can I open my heart and shift, you know? And I believe that it all starts with you know, a willingness, a desire. Like, hey, I don't want to. I don't want to feel this resent. I don't want to feel this. All these poisonous feelings because I know, first of all, they hurt me and they also hurt the people around me. So how can I solve? And it starts with that and it feels like something. It's like, oh, you you want to know? And it, it's being revealed. Maybe you get a book. Maybe somebody says something. Maybe you just wake up one morning. It's like, I don't want to be like this anymore. And it, bam, like that. And it, it, it's it's. It's all, but I feel like it's important to just open yourself and just be willing. Because when the end will come, we will all realize that it was about love. And it wasn't about these grand, glorious things that the world tells us to chase ourselves. It was just about love. So, yeah, I feel guided to share this story because I, I think yesterday I was like, oh, whoa, this actually, something happened there. But I wasn't really, I didn't realize it at that time, the impact. And I feel it's so important to come within, come, come back home and ask ourselves, hey, how can I be more loving? How can I expand my love outside my, my family, outside my house, you know? And slowly but surely, maybe we just become just the embodiment of love. Because as it says in the scripture, God is love. And those who do not love do not know God. Because God is love. And who is God if not this internal being, this I amness, this consciousness that lives within us because we are the temple of the living God, right? And the spirit of God lives in us, as us. So wouldn't it be wonderful to allow that love and the power to come to life through us, as us, and for us. That's my hope for you and for everybody and myself as well. Love to all.